Small businesses starting off the new year strong. What is it about the Trump economy that makes these owners so competent? Well, I just think they've been waiting for years for the right environment, not just to start their businesses, but to grow their businesses over the long term. And a lot of the statistics that you mentioned are the same ones that we're hearing from our small businesses. They're very happy and feel that they've benefited from tax reform. They'd like to see more tax reform in the future. Also, the regulatory reform, that's always an untold story. Whenever you reduce regulations on small businesses, they could put more of that money to work in their businesses. So not only are they overwhelmingly optimistic about what's going on right now, but many of them are looking forward and are very optimistic about the future, which changes their decisions in terms of hiring, uh, expanding operations, filling inventories, et cetera. So we just want to make sure that we keep this great economic environment going, not only for this year, but in the years to come. Uh, we talk about the optimism that we're seeing among small businesses, but one thing that does continue to be a struggle is the labor market. They're facing an increasing shortage of workers to fill open positions. What changes have small businesses had to make to attract employees to work for them? Well, a lot. You know, they've got to do uh, a lot more with less in terms of their workforce. Uh, some of that is because the unemployment rate is at historic low. Uh, you know, uh, when I was in government, we used to say 5% was uh, full employment. We're under 4% right now. And so they're having to do more with technology. They're working longer hours, but they're definitely looking for the workers of the future. And that's gonna be a continual uh, issue and challenge for them in the years to come. Uh, we need to make sure that we're training people up, getting them new skills. Uh, we need to make sure that more young people are going into business. And, uh, but I, you know, it's kind of a good problem to have but you know, the workforce is the most important asset for a small business. They can usually take care of a lot of the other issues themselves, but they need more people to help them grow and scale their businesses. You talk about uh, small businesses looking for new tax cuts. A new Gallup poll that I mentioned found the majority of small businesses say they've benefited from the 2017 reform. Trump administration now working on another round of tax cuts. What kind of policies could be implemented to benefit small businesses even more? Well, as you know, most small businesses file their uh, taxes as individuals, subchapter S corporations. And so the last tax reform that happened, it was good for small business. It was better for big business. And so small businesses are still looking for a little bit more room, for more of that money to come back to them. At the end of the day, it's their money. And if they get more of that money back, they can put it to work in hiring people, buying technology, uh, doing international trade, and many, many other things. Uh, obviously, anytime that we can incent small businesses for investments that they're making, for them to be able to take deductions uh, in the year that they're taking them, that's always a very positive thing as well. So it'll be very interesting to see uh, what the, the next package of tax reform looks like. I think the last round was very good for big business, but I think we still have a little bit more room to go for small business. When we talk about the state of small businesses in 2020, we of course have to think about the fact that it is an election year. More than half of the owners surveyed by Gallup did say that they believe they'll be better off if President Trump is reelected. How do you think those businesses, though, would be impacted if a Democrat is elected in November? Well, you know, small businesses are resilient, and you know, of course, we've had uh, different kinds of administrations over the years, both Democrat and Republican. I would say to you that small businesses are paying a lot of attention to this election cycle. And they're gonna be listening to these messages, especially messages that are talking about them and how they can help their businesses grow. And they're also gonna to listen to messages that say, we wanna take more of your resources. We wanna raise your taxes. We want more regulation. They're gonna be paying attention to that as well. Uh, a lot of small businesses are not partisan, they're independent. And so those businesses will probably make the final determination of who our president is. Remember, there's 30 million small businesses in the United States and they hire millions of people. And so when you're talking to small business, you're talking about over 52% of the gross output of the economy. We like to say there's nothing small about small business. And that's very true. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.